first came to writing because it felt like a calling. Um, but I basically had no choice. It was like a life and death situation. Um, and I do what I do because I have no choice. A clandestine figure strolls at my side. Footsteps appear in the reddening snow. And though the bayonet still tears your flesh in the loop of my mindscape, this is no anthem for laureled heroes, only a sickly sweet lament to the irreconcilable tragedy you and I were impelled to experience, and one I will often have to live again. Um, I sort of do this, um, like visual art and sculpture, because it gets me away from words. Um, it's more like instinctive, um, more intuitive, feeling orientated. So I don't have to chew over like concepts and what am I going to say about this feeling and that feeling. It's just you're just exploring with the material. Is it always improvised like that, Scott? Um, yeah, always. Um, I can never like sketch an idea, I never like look at something and oh it's going to turn out that way because mm. I don't know, life doesn't work that way. I'm naturally like a, an introverted person and so this for me is my way of extroversion where um, it's no holds barred, I can throw myself at all this junk or um, at canvas or anything like that and it doesn't matter like how it turns out so long as I'm satisfied drawing, there's nothing really riding on it. And with art, uh, with writing, sorry, like with poetry, because I chose to be a poet, there's much more for me riding on it. And I've got to shove my shoulders in amongst all of the poets that exist um, currently and have existed in the past. And you feel like a burden and the weight of that, um, and a certain responsibility. But with art, I kind of don't care because I'm not particularly an artist, I just have great fun doing art. That's more for me the process. So this, art-wise, um, it's more my pleasure. Writing is my serious side, I think. Could do it like machine tools. Um, I like the feeling of doing it by hand. Mark, it wants slick, like ready-made things. Mass appeal rather than that's something that a person's hands have touched and it isn't perfect but it has that integrity something more rooted about it that's why I'm greatly inspired by like primitive art folk art, African mask and um, statue building I think I'm, I'm trying to um, get as far like abstract as you can but still like keep it a recognisable face so there's always like um, you can draw a circle and put two dots and instantly you think that's a face but um, why, why would you think that? It's somehow like um, psychologically encoded. Is that really a face? But because I put like an image of an eye and some little teeth and stuff it sort of harks towards it but it isn't. You, your mind somehow forces you to like make recognition and make order of a chaotic situation. I had some old bullets I found on the beach in Mablethorpe, I had them for years. I thought if I put them in a nappy, um, there's some of uh, like the childishness of war, I like that. And there's a brain like trapped in a grid, and the car um, with a bra and panties on. <laughs> it's a little like this. <laughs> Seems almost less symbolic than the two above it. <laughs> Let the ten tornadoes evoke my mood in continuance of the satisfaction I harboured for you and with you. For in one graceful motion you fell from the cliff like a bewitched swan, dying early to return with letters in my nightmares. 
it may be impossible to reach you as you digress to a part of my grieving shadow, but I will reach for you nonetheless. <laughs>